Let's go over NCLEX anti-diabetic medications. Just for a quick recap, we have insulin, which can be used for type 1 diabetes and for type 2 diabetes. Then we have our oral anti-hyperglycemic medications or anti-diabetic medications. These are used for type 2 diabetics only. These will not help type 1 diabetics. First off, we have the most popular, which is metformin. Metformin doesn't have any suffixes because it's just, well, metformin. Next Next we have sulfonylureas. The prefix to look out for is GLI, like G-L-Y or G-L-I. Here are some examples of medications with those prefixes. Next we have thiazolidine dions, or TZD. The suffix for this is galitazone. Here are some examples of those medications with that suffix. All right, last one is DPP-4 inhibitors. The suffix for this medication is galiptin. Here are some examples showing that suffix. All right, now let's talk about the key NCLEX facts you need to know for each medication. The main NCLEX fact you need to know about metformin is to think no MRI dye. IV contrast can cause lactic acidosis in patients taking metformin. So it should be stopped 24 to 48 hours before administration of contrast dye. So again, metformin think no MRI dye. Okay, the main NCLEX fact you need to know about sulfonylureas, think sunburn and sober. This medication can cause photosensitivity, so wear sunscreen. And when a patient is taking this medication, they need to avoid alcohol. This is to prevent a disulfram-like reaction, which can cause flushing, nausea, and palpitations. All right, next we have TZD. Now the key NCLEX fact for this medication is it should be avoided in heart failure patients because they can cause fluid retention, which can worsen edema and exacerbate heart failure symptoms. And lastly, we have our DPP-4 inhibitors. Think pancreatitis pain and possible infection. Now the key NCLEX fact is that DPP-4 inhibitors can cause pancreatitis. So watch for severe abdominal pain when a patient is taking this medication. They can also increase the risk for upper respiratory infections. That's all for a quick overview of anti-diabetic medications. You can find more memory tricks and key NCLEX facts in the complete pharmacology flashcards. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making, Happy Studying Future Nurses.